So now we're finally at the point of being able to create our printed circuit board. Let me start off by showing what a completed printed circuit board, a good one looks like. So this is what a good printed circuit board design looks like. Every color has a different meaning. So this purple one is the outline of the printed circuit board itself. This is a pretty complicated shape. It's designed to fit inside a very closely, um, it's designed to fill up the inside of a, of a particular box, which is why it has these funny uh, cutouts and uh, this funny lip in it. You'll notice that the jacks are placed around the perimeter to let you get to them easily. These are all our, our off schematic jacks. So power goes in off schematic. Um, our LED, this, this goes to an LED that's mounted on the outside of the box. So we need wires to go into the LED box. Notice that there's helpful text that's put on here. So anything that's on the silk screen is in green. So when we add the actual part, it appears, it appears like this, but then we can separately add silk screen text to tell us what these jacks are. You really, really need to do that. Otherwise it gets too confusing to figure out what jack is what part. So this is our FTDI. You wanna put in the ground side so you know how to connect it. It's smart to put in the LCD text orientation on your LCD screen so you don't, as, so as you're designing it, you don't mount it upside down. Now then we've got these different colors. We've got, we've got red on the top. Red are surface traces that are on the top of the board. So these will be in copper and these will connect our components. And you can click up here to look at the bottom traces. And these are the bottom traces. Notice how generally one side is vertical and one side is horizontal. If you keep, if you keep to this arrangement, you'll have uh, fewer collisions with your traces. Notice that there's different sizes of traces. There's different widths. Some, the ones that are uh, carry power and ground are thicker uh, since more current will flow in these. And then the very low current signal lines can be made thinner, which lets you route them more easily. These holes are mounting holes. You'll always need mounting holes on a printed circuit board or else you can't figure out how to, you won't be able to actually attach your printed circuit board to anything. 